Okay, so again, to test your understanding, this is a quiz. Just tell me which procurement route would be the best option for this particular project, based on the brief that I have given you. So you have some options, whether it is traditional or design and construct. So the client is asking you which one is best fit for this project. These are the circumstances. This is the client. This is the project. Which one would you prefer and why? You need to develop a thinking. And if you make a mistake, you will understand that, OK, why I have done this mistake. Then you learn. But try to make a mistake. Mm. What is the problem with design and construct? We have a major problem with design and construct. What is it? What's the major problem that you will always be hesitant that design and construct may not work well for? There is something that we are always hesitant about, and we are scared of doing procurement route uh, or, or selecting design and construct as a good procurement route. Major, major hiccup, major shortcoming out of design and construct. Uh, he will not have, a, definitely, he will not have any influence. <laughs> he will just give, give the whole lot to the contractor to do everything. But there is something that is going to be compromised. No, cost will be optimum because, you know, you get someone to give you everything with a certainty on the cost. That, okay, this is what I'm going to give you, and you will be the lowest bidder. You get very good cost certainty about it. Quality. If you give it to a builder who's going to, design, to, to do it as design and build package, he's not the specialist in design, right? He will, he will try to compromise so many things, giving you a second uh, uh, class uh, uh, specifications for the materials, trying to play around, you know, just to save more money. So it's not the designer who's going to impose certain specifications and performance requirements. It is now within the control of the contractor, based on the brief that was given by the employer. So he can play around with the quality. Now, what's wrong here? When you answer this question, what is the first thing that you need to think of? The first thing before you answer the question, which is procurement route is going to be followed? What is the first priority for you? Procurement strategy, what is the first thing? What do you have to analyze? The client. Who is the client? Who is the client? Is he, a, is he a, an investor or is he an occupier? Does it make difference if he's an occupier rather than an investor? If he's an occupier, he will be very concerned about what? Quality, right? Quality is the major concern. Not only the time and cost certainty, the quality. He has to get something which is reliable and will give him value for money. And the client here doesn't tell you that I'm, I'm looking for the quality. Among other things, he is looking for uh, time certainty and overall duration of the project among other things, but by default, quality is one of the major parameters that he's looking for, <coughs> because he's an occupier, and you have analyzed his case. You analyze the case, and look at the project. The project is a 20-story building. It is a commercial building. It could be done on a built basis, but on what, what are the measures that you have to take into consideration before you select the built? There is no right or wrong answer here. It depends on the way how you approach it. For example, if you want to go for design and build for this project, you must make sure that you have enough brief, you have enough performance measurements that you will impose on the contractor to, to follow. So what you can do, you ask the, uh, a very good designer to come up with, the, with a design that reflects your requirements, and you are happy with it, very well detailed, the scope is very well detailed, then you give that to the contractor saying that this is the scope, this is what I'm looking for, and price it for me. So you will make sure that all your performance requirements are already reflected somewhere in the documents. He cannot play. He can play, but it will be very limited. You will have a better control. And you still can do it as design and construct. What if you want to, to do it as traditional? What would you do? You have a problem with regard to what? The total duration, isn't it? Because you have to do it in, in stages. You can do something called two-stage tendering. Like, you start with foundations, you finish the foundations, while you are, your design for superstructure is ongoing. So, you can finish on time. So, something called two-stage tendering, where you have overlapping between the design activities. So, you make it design package one, 
So you start with foundations. While they start with foundations, you go design two is under development. And once you are ready on site, you are ready on site to proceed with the superstructure, the design will be ready by that point of time. But it needs a lot of planning to make sure that you, are, you will supply the information on time. 